More than 6 million Americans are living with Alzheimer's and we are just over two weeks away from the annual Northwest Louisiana Walk to End Alzheimer's. It's an event that helps raise funds and awareness to fight this heartbreaking disease. So joining us today, we have our walk manager, Renee Calloway, and committee member, Tamika Hayden, to tell us the why this walk is so important and what resources are available through the Alzheimer's Association. So ladies, thank you for joining me here today. We're excited. Thank you Very for excited. having us. Thanks for having us. We are counting down the days. You know, it's hard to believe that we're already wrapping up and getting into another walk. But, you know, the fight against Alzheimer's, it doesn't happen just once a year like the walk does. It is a right. constant ongoing battle. So, Renee, tell us a little bit about the Alzheimer's Association. So, the Alzheimer's Association has been in place since 1980, and we've been dedicated to searching for that cure to end Alzheimer's, um, doing research and funding research, and we've also been dedicated in creating support groups. And so that more on a, a local level, we know caregivers go through a lot in taking care of their loved ones. So we want to make sure that they have the support that they need as well. Absolutely, because the caregivers so often, you know, we're not professionals, but we're just mm -hmm. trying to take care of the ones that we love. We see them struggling, and so we want to step in and help. And we yeah. each have a personal tie. Tamika, that's how you became involved, right? Yes, ma'am. Um, my grandparents both uh, actually passed away, and they've had dementia, Alzheimer's, and so the first-hand experience was just seeing them go down. You know, it's something that you're not used to, but it made me want to get active and get involved to see what it is that I can do to bring more resources and make people more aware of their options and what they can do to prevent it from happening. And that's what we're doing with the Walk to End Alzheimer's. It's a big impact. There's a lot of education that goes into this, but it's a family-friendly event. This is a hard mm -hmm. topic to have, but it doesn't mean that we should shy away from the topic. Absolutely, yeah. So, and I mean, and the walk is there. We want to have a lot of fun. Um, we do know that the impact of the caregivers is is hard. It really is hard to watch our, our loved ones deal with the cognitive issues, behavioral issues. Um, but we want to keep our eyes on the mission, but at the same time have a little fun during the walk too. So we're going to have bounce houses and costume contests and various um, various events just to keep it lighthearted and fun so that uh, people can have a good time. Yeah, and everybody's encouraged to come out. You know, we're showing you footage right now of the walk from last year. There are people of all ages. There are people out there walking with their pets. We're excited that it's back mm -hmm. at the Louisiana Boardwalk again this year. Yeah. It's a great space to get out there, and it's for everybody to come together. You know, we keep telling people it's a hard topic, but it's an important topic, but it doesn't mean that we can't have fun while we're out there. Absolutely, yeah. So, I mean, and we're even encouraged participation with children and pets. Um, one of the categories is the best pet costume. Oh, fun! Um, so we're going to have in the best children's costume and so yeah, we, we do. We want it to be a family affair because Alzheimer's affects the entire family. So tell us a little bit more about the happy stuff. You've mentioned some contests, <laughs> fun things that we want to get in on. Yeah, we're excited about the costume contest. There's a lot of people that have been buzzing and have been all kinds of ideas. Um, yes. So we're going to have a lot of uh, prizes for the winners. Um, and so we are going to be posting anybody who wants to register at the walk to enter the costume contest. We're going to post it on Facebook book onto the Shreveport Walked In Alzheimer's Facebook page um, and then whoever gets the most reacts in each category will win the prize and that's going to be announced at the at the celebration party that's going to take place on November 9th and more information will come out about that a little bit closer to the walk um, and then we're going to have an online auction and yeah there's so there's, much yeah <laughs> we, we really want to make it a good have a good time and make it um, a lot of fun Yes, and y'all have been busy making sure that everything is put together this year. There are plenty of ways for you to go ahead and get involved right now. If you pull out your phone, you can scan that QR code. It will take you to the link where you can go ahead and sign up. It's free to sign up, mm -hmm. but we do encourage everybody to fundraise. You know, get your team together at work. You've got some coworkers that you love to walk and gossip with. Mm -hmm. This is a good opportunity yes. to get out there and have a little fun <laughs> and support a great cause in the process. And we actually have a team here at KSLA, so we would love for you to be on our team and come walk with us because I'll out there and we look forward to seeing everybody. Yeah, yes. and you know you're actually emceeing for us so I we am. are so <laughs> excited to have you out there um, and, and supporting the cause and, and just raising that awareness. So we appreciate your involvement too. Thank you. Well ladies, we appreciate everything that you're doing and I tell you what, when you open this story in our KSLA News 12 app or online at KSLA.com, you're going to see the links, you're going to see how you can sign up and how you can help walk to end Alzheimer's. We'll be back in a moment.